We're going to jump through a bunch of examples really, really quickly. Here we go. Uh, this one here, we have two complementary angles. So we can say that 21 plus y is equal to 90. Now, it's going to be really important that we write some sort of reason here. They are complementary angles, and that's reason enough for us to do what we're doing here. And then uh, we just solve this algebraically. So y equals 90 minus 21, which equals 69 degrees. So here's a second example here, and we're trying to calculate a bunch of these angles. So I'm thinking about how I'm going to communicate that. I'm just going to call this angle x. I'm just going to label it there. What that allows me to do is look at a and look at x and say that a plus x equals 180 degrees. And the reason a plus x equals 180 degrees is because they are supplementary. Don't forget you really got to tell us why. You really need a reason why these are why this is happening. So of course, x here has already been labelled as being 90 degrees. So that means that a plus 90 equals 180, and it's not hard from here to figure out that a equals 90 degrees. Now, of course, you can look at it and you'll know that that's 90. So that must be 90 because there's a straight line here. You've got to be communicating that. All right. Next up, we have uh, b. We can say that B is equal to 41 degrees. Uh, why? Because these two angles are vertically opposite each other. And again, you've really got to communicate that. If there's only one idea you take away from this video, that's it, communication. Finally, we have C. Now, if B is equal to 41 degrees, or even if we just ignore B and we just focus on this bit here, we can see that this is a set of supplementary angles as well. So we can say that C plus 41 equals 180 degrees because they are supplementary. Missing my R there. And then solve that 180 minus 41C. Of course, that must mean that uh, C equals 139 degrees. Now working through this one here, we have a triangle. We know that that's a right angle here. We know the internal angles of a triangle add up to 180, and that's what the key bit is here. I'm just going to label this A, and I'm just going to now say that A plus 41 plus X equals 180. And the reason for that is the internal angles of a triangle. Now, from here, a is 90, we know that, so 90 plus 41 plus x equals 180. We know that 90 plus 41 is 131, so 131 plus x equals 180. And a little more algebra to go here, x equals 180 minus 31, which looks like 49 degrees. So x is 49 degrees, internal angles of a triangle. A close cousin to that question is this question. The internal angles of a uh, quadrilateral add up to 360. So I can say here that 125 plus 60 plus 115 plus y equal 360 degrees. And the reason for that is quadrilateral angle sum 360 degrees. Okay, and from that, we can say that y is equal to 360 minus whatever the sum of that is. I cheated, got my calculator out, it's not cheating. Uh, y equals 360 minus 300, which is, of course, 60 degrees. That's what this angle right here is. You might notice that that angle is equal to that angle. Uh, that's just a coincidence in this case. Some quadrilaterals have that special property, but this is not a special quadrilateral. Just a coincidence. Speaking of special quadrilaterals, here's one right here. We have a parallelogram. Now, we can say that a parallelogram's opposite angles are equal, which means that W equals 73 degrees. And the reason it equals 73 degrees is because parallelogram opposite angles. All right, it's really about communicating your ideas. All right, so if that's 73 and that's 73, I can also say that Z and V are equal, and Z and V are equal for the same, for the same reason, right? And I'll just do little dashes here to say same reason. All right, so if Z and V are equal, we can now figure something out, because 
the internal angles of a equilateral triangle are e uh, all add up to 360 degrees. So we can say that 73 plus 73 plus 73 plus Z plus V equal 360 degrees. And I'll just do a little coded reason here, just do like a little quadrilateral equals 360, just like that. All right, but we know that Z and V are equal, so I can write this if I want as 73 plus 73 plus Z plus Z equals 360, because Z and V are the same. And of course, uh, let's add up 73 and 73, so that's 146, and Z plus Z is 2Z equals 360. And now I can just go ahead and solve this. So 360 minus 146 equals 2Z, uh, 360 minus 146 is a number, 214, and if 2z equals 214, then z equals 214 divided by 2, which is 107. And of course, if z equals 107, then v equals 107, a little therefore there. Now, uh, there are different ways to solve this. So, for instance, rather than doing what I've done here, you can look at these parallel lines and see that they're parallel lines. Okay, and see this one as a transversal. And you can see now we have co-interior angles. So we could have easily, or perhaps more easily than what I've done here, said that uh, V equals 180 minus 73, which is 107, and the reason would have been uh, co-interior angles. So there's often more than one way to do these sorts of questions, uh, but you really need to just move through them uh, however you see it. Similar idea here, this time we have a kite. Now here we have 95 degrees, here we have 60 degrees, and in a kite these opposite angles, the ones that have join the two sides of different lengths, they're going to be equal. So that means that x equals y. So we can play the similar idea that I used in the previous example. This is a quadrilateral, which means that 95 plus 60 plus x plus y will equal 360 degrees because of the internal angles of a quadrilateral. We already know that x equals y, so x plus y is 2x, right, because y is x. 95 plus 60 is uh, 155, 360, and then we're just solving that. Same working as before, so I won't do it on camera, but we get x equals 102.5, and therefore y equals 102.5, because they're the same. Now we've been using algebra throughout, but here's a chance to sort of stretch ourselves a little bit. We've got this angle here, and I'm just going to call it angle A, just for our benefit, and I've got this angle here, and I'm going to call it angle B. Now, we know that A equals B because they are vertically opposite. I'll just use a little symbol here for vertically opposite. Now, if A equals B, that means that whatever A is, in this case 3x minus 12, equals whatever B is, in this case x plus 26. And now I can subtract x from both sides, and I'm just, I'm just solve for x here. So 3x minus x equals 26. I've got a minus 12 here, so I have to add 12 to both sides add 12. So that'll give me 38, 3x minus x is 2x, which means that x must be half of that, which is 19. Um, this is sort of a question that combines ideas of algebra and geometry. It's a favourite of math teachers everywhere. Of course, don't forget your little degree symbol. And here it is in a slightly different context, uh, with slightly different techniques. We'll call this A and we'll call this B. So. This time what we have are parallel lines and a transversal, and these are co-interior angles. So what we know is that A plus B is equal to 180 because of the fact that they are co-interior angles. All right, so if A is 3x minus 10 and B is 4x minus 20, they add up to 180. All right, so uh, 3x plus 4x is 7x. Negative 10 plus negative 20 is negative 30, which is 180. Adding 30 to both sides gives us 210 on this side and just a 7x here. And dividing both sides by 7 gives us 210 divided by 7, which is 30 degrees. 
So the X in this case represents 30 degrees. And that is 10 minutes exactly time for a nap.